Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you a couple of methods where you can use to refresh your screen during your automation run. So I am going to demonstrate five different ways that you can refresh your screen. So let's get started. So I have a Maven project under that I have one examples package. So I will create a straightly a test ng class and I don't need anything here so just I will mention this as refresh methods and click finish so this will get me one test method so I'm going to create a web driver instance so I'm going to use a web driver API manager so web driver API manager dot chrome driver dot setup so this will get my latest exe files and which is compatible to my browsers which are installed and then after i will use web driver web driver drivers equal to new chrome driver right and then after using a driver reference driver dot get so under get i will paste a url called https So this is a URL I wanted to navigate right and after that I need to perform some action on it so I will use driver dot find element so generally you will use the page object model or you will use a cucumber step definitions and everything so you have to work with your own project reference just I am showing an example where you can refresh your screen so by dot I'm going to use a link text so link text whichever link I wanted to press is about so about I need to click click right so I'm also use driver dot uh, its window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so this will maximize my screen i will use firstly a thread sleep to thread dot sleep so we are going to stop the thread for a couple of seconds so this is not recommended for demonstration purpose i am showing this so thread dot sleep then after i am going to perform the first refresh method method one driver dot navigate dot refresh so this is the simplest one everyone knows this method and the five methods which i'm going to explain are well known to one or other way so i'm going to quickly run this program now it is started the chrome browser now you can see it is maximized and then after it will load google page then it goes to about then uh, it refreshed so you can see page got refreshed so this is the one way i need to give uh, at least some time so that you can understand whether page is getting refreshed so i'm going to use the same thread sleep thread sleep for two seconds then driver dot close right so I'm going to rerun again just to show you this got refreshed page launched Chrome page and then about page two seconds it will wait then it refreshed yeah. it's working fine it has closed so this is a method one now we'll discuss on method two method two so I'm going to comment this method one as well so the method two will be so i'm going to use the same driver dot get so driver dot get so under get what i am going to use driver dot get current url so this will get whatever the url is currently open so i will get that url immediately driver dot get will again launch that url so that page will get refreshed so again 
save and run page maximized open about page and it will wait for two seconds it refreshed yes and page got closed so this is method two so again i will comment this method two and let me again try for method three so method three So in method T, what I will use? So I will use a robot class here. So for that, I will quickly create an object for robot class. So you need to use Java dot awt dot robot equal to new robot right name it semicolon. Now using this robot class, what I will do? I will create one method. Oh, let me see why it is throwing and it will accept something exceptions let me see later so robot dot key press so what I will need to do key press then under that key press I will have key events so key events so key event dot so my key event will be whenever you will refresh your screen you will press F5 right so I will use the fi key so fi robot dot key release so key release I need to whichever key I pressed I need to release that key so for that I will use again key events key event dot fi so this will release my key so let me quickly save and this will accept some uh, exception let me give the parent so that uh, whichever exception it will handle That's right now again I will execute this piece of code now you can see it is started again and uh, it has launched the Google Drive and uh, it has waited for two seconds it is refreshed yes and page got closed so this is method 2 using a robot class method 3 sorry and let me see a couple of more methods again so let me again comment this lines right method 4 so method 4 using a javascript executor so how can i do with javascript executor there are certain ways or there are many actions which are not correctly working with selenium we can perform using a javascript executor so using this javascript executor i will call javascript executor and i will name this as jsc then i will need to typecast so typecast to javascript javascript executor then using a driver so I'm typecasting from web driver to the JavaScript executor. After that, using a JSC reference, I am saying execute, execute script. So you can provide execute script with the string script and object arguments. You can provide these things. So in the script executor, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to remove this and here in the lines, what I will do, I will get the history. So whatever browser that I am using, that will have some history. So whenever I am in the current page, that will called as a zeroth index, and which is the previous page called minus one index, and which is forwarded or the next page that will be a plus index. So this is an index based one. So history dot go. So this is a go and here you need to give zero so go zero so that whatever my page currently open that page will again recalled so quickly save and rerun again my chrome open google search then about page open two seconds now page got refreshed
you can observe all the actions in the left side of my browser whenever it got refreshed so for now i will again reopen or re-execute the same script do watch at the left top section here in the page title section you will see page is refreshing you will see right page got refreshed now now this is a method for so let me provide you a method phi as well so method phi method phi so this method phi is also similar to javascript executor only but that will have to work with again history so here what i will do i will copy the same method which is i have given in the step or method for and using a jsc dot execute script execute script and here i will remove this argument then semi double quotations under that double quotation i will use location location dot reload method so there are many documented methods you can utilize all of them even you can perform send keys click method double click method using this javascript executor everything works fine with this selenium as we are type casting from web driver instance to the javascript executor and let me quickly save and rerun this method and observe the left to top section whenever page get refreshed so you need to observe this section you will see page is getting refreshed so i'm into about page after two seconds page got refreshed so this is how we do the different methods to refresh the screen and this is one or the other method which is asked frequently in your interview point of view also you can remember any one for your automation script but uh, as part of interview you can prepare all these questions what are the different ways to refresh your screen so you can explain all these methods by this you will quickly i mean interviewer can understand that you are technically very strong so i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching do share a like if the session is helpful for you and do share with your colleague thank you